Welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the quickest and easiest way to get started with e-commerce in 2023. This video is actually going to be talking about Magento and how you can set up your own custom Magento server. And yeah, it's going to be a very, very comprehensive tutorial. So make sure you watch it all. First of all, go on Google and type in AWS. You're then going to have to sign into the console or if you don't have an account already, make an account and then click on view all services at the bottom. Then click on light sale and next time you open light sale, it will automatically be there. I'm going to delete this one right here and I'm going to create a new instance so we can do everything together. This is what yours will look like. I'm going to click on create a new instance. I'm going to use Linux and I'm going to go with Magento and $20 a month and we're just going to create the instance. This will take a couple of minutes. In the description, you will find this incredibly useful um, guide. I recommend that you open all of these uh, links, especially this link right here. So we're going to have to get something called Composer. So go on, um, go on getcomposer.org slash download. We're going to install this directly into our LightSail Magento in just a moment. For now, we have to wait a little while for everything to complete. While that's actually doing that, what I will need to do is I will need to click on Amazon Light Sale at the top like this and click on Domains and DNS. There is a problem with um, using the base settings of AWS. I don't know why they haven't sorted this out. But basically, you're going to have to add a record. It's going to have to be a CNAME record, put www. And for the root traffic to, you just want to put your base URL and then hit save. The other thing we have to do is I want you to go on, basically click on your uh, Magento instance. So click on here and then click on networking, scroll down and turn off IPv6. The reason again is that it doesn't work with AWS right now for some reason. I don't really know why it's an option if it doesn't work, but yeah, there you go. So we now have our Magento server. It's almost ready to go. We just have to wait a little bit. If I click on connect, it will tell me that it's not ready yet. It will, oh, okay. Yeah, it will say login failed. If this instance has just started up, try it again in a minute or two. So we are gonna have to wait a couple of minutes. You can click on domains while you're waiting and you can buy yourself a domain and then you can assign the domain. So click on assign domain. We're going to click tranquilphilosophy.com and we're actually going to have to attach a static IP first. So we'll attach a static IP and there we go. We now assigned this domain to this static IP address like that. So we'll just click there and then press assign. It already exists, which is fine. Okay, this should be ready to go now. So let's click on connect with SSH and we'll have a quick look. So this is where the magic happens. This is where things start getting a little bit more complicated or so they seem, but they're actually still very, very simple. So go to getcomposer.org like I showed you before. And one by one, you just want to copy these four lines into here. So you've got to right click paste on Windows. I don't know what it is for any other operating systems, but for Windows, at least you have to right click paste individually. It says there install the verified, which means it's worked. Keep going, keep going, and then unlink at the end. Okay. So now we have Composer, which is perfect. Let's now add our free theme. So again, just follow the link that you will find in the description. And I'm just, I just randomly picked this one. I'm not saying this is good or bad or whatever. I, just re I literally just randomly picked it. Press add to cart. Thank, do not pay $49. I'm literally saving you $49 just by showing you how to install this template. So you're gonna have to run through the uh, the flow, basically. I do already have an Adobe account, so it's easy enough for me. And then once you've placed the order, just click on install here. And you're, you're gonna have to, first of all, make a private access key. So create a new key, give it a random name, press okay. 
and we're going to use this here. So you're going to copy this and you're going to put the public key in this little bit of code here. I am going to be deleting these guys so don't, don't bother trying to hack me or anything. And then you want to copy these here. So now we need to create the access key in Magento. So you want to write touch uh, auth dot json. This creates the file and then nano auth dot json, which lets us edit the file. Right click, paste, control X to exit, press Y to save and press enter to save. So we are pretty much there already. Now let's just install the prerequisites for the theme so right click paste on um require swiss up module theme editor swiss up absolute 1.3.1 and then we'll also install this right here so right click and paste that's the actual theme itself so now we need to set the domain as our static IP. So if you just copy the next bit of code and then copy the connect to here, so we shall paste and then press enter. This will set the domain up properly. So now if I go to my domain, which is currently 3.767.90.23, you will see that we have our Magento website right here. If you're wondering how you log in and start editing things, you just put slash admin at the end, you write user, and then you go back to the command line and paste this little application password prompt in. Um, we're just going to copy the password here and then sign in. Now we have to make some changes before we do anything else. So click on stores and click on configuration. Make sure you do this now because otherwise you will have problems later. Click on web, click on base URLs. And we're going to change this. So the two the main things you want to change here is you want to click on base URL secure and you want to make sure that you're using secure URLs on admin and in storefront and also upgrade insecure requests like that. And then I'm going to press save config and then we're going to say proceed like this. And we want to make a couple more changes. So we're going to change the base URL to our URL, which is um, tranquilphilosophy.com. And the base URL here with the S will be like this. And then we're just going to hit save here. And this should now be pretty much there. So we'll go on tranquilphilosophy.com. And the only thing that's missing really is the security, the HTTPS. So let's run a couple more commands. You want you can just press up a few times to get to this here. And then we want to put the app domain to tranquilphilosophy.com. That should save that information. And then we want to install our HTTPS certificate. I'm just going to make a quick change here. I'm going to put www right here and then press save again. Then we're going to paste this. This is how we do the HTTPS certificate. This is the thing that's been a nightmare for me tonight. Hopefully this is just going to work first time this time. Okay, so on the main list, again, just write tranquilphilosophy.com. It will say that this was not included, so say yes. And then it actually worked. Oh my God. Enable HTTP to HTTPS. Yes. We'll say no for this and yes for this. Yes, I agree to all the changes. And you just need to put an email address like so. And yes, I agree to everything. And then you just need to wait a little while. So as you can see, it says it was successful in modifying our installation. So we'll press enter one more time. And now if we go to our website, it is HTTC, HTTPS secure. If we do slash admin, we can log in. 
everything is completely fine. This is the dashboard. This is where we create everything. I'm going to have a second video on how to do SEO, how to do page building, etc., etc. But if you click on content and click on pages, you can see how you can actually edit already. This is the home page right here. If you click select and then view, it will take you to the home page. So if you click edit and for example, you write something like Let's write something like, why am I awake making this video at one point per year? In the morning, I've been doing this for 16 hours. That's not a joke, by the way. Hit save and then apply template. No, just hit save. I think that's done it and then hit save again. And then we refresh and you can see why I'm awake making this video one thirty in the morning. I've been doing this for 16 hours. Yep, that's everything, guys. That's the first part of my Magento series. I'll probably do this for WordPress and Shopify as well. I really, really hope this helps. This took a long time to work out how to do. But now the possibilities are endless. And now I'm going to be making some very interesting content. Peace out.